The Artec Micro is Artec's latest addition to their 3D scanning line. It's a very high resolution, very precise scanner for small objects. It has a resolution of up to 0 0.029 millimeters and an accuracy of 0 0.01 millimeters. So very high resolution and very accurate. Now let's go ahead and look at the hardware and then I'll show you a little bit of the capture and processing in the software. So if we look right here at the scanning platform, you see I have an object here. I have just, um, this is a, a little electrical screw connection. Uh, basically I took some clay and pressed it in there to keep it fixed to the scan platform. Uh, this is, differs from the other Artec scanners such as the Space Spider and the Eva and Leo in that those are handheld, but this is a desktop scanning system. So it's meant to sit on your desk or on a table somewhere, connect to Artec Studio with a USB cable. And once you fix your object here, you press scan in the software and then it will scan your object. Now there's a couple different options here with the scan platform, which does move automatically during the scan process. There are several disks here. There are little buttons here that help release them. Basically what this allows you to do is fix different sized objects into the field of view. Um, and these are all just fixed, fixed with uh, magnets. All right, so if you look at my platform here, you should be able to see that I sprayed this down with a little bit of powder spray. The reason being, this is a very precise and sensitive scanner and anything that's going to be shiny or have really dark colors will most likely need to be coated in order to get the best possible results from the scanner. So just keep that in mind. Um, all right, so I have this all ready to go. Uh, let's look at the software. So in the top left here, you have a little preview of what the scanner is seeing. And I can adjust my brightness. You can see that as I adjust the brightness, uh, some red highlights show up. That means it's gonna be too bright in those areas. So I can adjust this to the proper exposure for my object that I'm going to scan. So somewhere right in there. I can now choose a scan path. Basically, you have a couple preset options here depending on the size of the object you're trying to capture and how complex it is. So let's say I, if I choose small simple, that's going to have fewer frames and le less positions than if I choose small complex. I'm going to just click small normal for here. There is an option to automatically reduce the number of polygons after capture and you can capture color as well, but we're just gonna leave those unchecked and I'm going to click scan. You'll see as soon as I click scan, this starts to move on its own. And based on the scan path that I told it to use, it will go through a number of preset uh, positions and capture that data. And you can see right here in the software, as it captures each frame, it moves to where it was capturing and it fills that data in. So it gives you a nice uh, readout of, or a nice visual as you're capturing the data. And again, this is not a handheld scan system, so you can place your object in there. If you cho chose the uh, complex option, you could click go, work on something else, just let it do its thing, and when it's done, it will, uh, it will show you the finished data. Now, it is currently on scan 10 out of 44, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, and then we'll look at the resulting raw data, and we'll process it and look at the output. Okay, so now that the scanning is complete, we can look at our raw data. I'm going to go ahead and close this right here. And let's look at what we have. So here's the resulting raw data. Um, you can look to see if you chose the correct option. Um, looking at this, I have a couple places that it missed. Maybe using the uh, complex would have been just a little bit better for this one, but I have mostly full coverage for this and you can already see the details in this raw data here. All right, so let's do some of the standard things that we usually do in Artec Studio. I can come into my editor here and use the eraser tool to get rid of some of this extra data. Let's just uh, do the cutoff plane up to about right there. All right. 
and I'll get rid of this stuff right there too. Okay, close that. And really, I'm just going to run two algorithms here. So if I come over to, I'm gonna run a global registration and that'll go pretty quickly. All right, looks pretty good. Let's now run a sharp fusion. So I'm going to run this, fuse the data at a resolution of 0 0.03 millimeters. I'm gonna tell it to just fill holes by radius, which means it'll leave the bottom of this open. And that is going to take a couple of minutes, probably about two and a half minutes or so. So I will go ahead and fast forward this again, and then we'll look at the results. The Sharp Fusion just finished. You can see I got a couple things floating around here. I'm going to run a small objects filter to get rid of some of those. And let's look at the data. So you can see the level of detail you can get. Let's change the color here something a little brighter, you can see things a little better. You see the level of detail is, is very high on this. You can see the, um, the little imprints on the top. If you look at the clay, you can see my fingerprint lines from when I press that clay onto the build platform. It's all very nice and clean, very sharp data. That's about it for the basic features and functionality of the new Artec Micro. If you have any additional questions or would perhaps like a personalized demo, feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call and we would be happy to help you out.